Hey everybody, this is Mayor Norton's new art show on Broadway. I don't know how much this cost, but you know, it's a pandemic. So what we really need in Rochester, with all the closing restaurants last night, what we really need really badly is a big agitprop sign that teaches us, oh, what are those Democrats marching? Look like Democrats marching. Yeah. Um, we need lots of art in Rochester because we just don't have enough art. What the people really want is this in downtown Rochester. We don't need restaurants. We don't need bars. We don't need concerts. We don't need Thursdays on first. We don't need things to do. We don't need plays. Nah, forget all that. What we really need is more art in Rochester. And again, I don't know how much was paid for this. Uh, we'll do the research later to try to find out how much uh, was spent on this. We know that Mayor Norton has used federal CARES money on other art projects in Rochester. So that's your federal tax dollars going to pay for this uh, hippie agitprop in Rochester. I hope you feel good about this. Yeah, we're together, everybody. Huh? What we are is together in this war on COVID. And we're going to fix it with lots of art. Yeah, this is just what your federal tax dollars, this is the relief you were meant to provide. By the way, I don't know if you can see the broken down fence surrounding this property. This is the place where the former beautiful AFL-CIO building once stood in Rochester. And look, you may or may not be a union person, but the irony of an AFL-CIO building being replaced by agitprop art of a socialist nature is too ironic. This building that, it, that the, the field is uh, standing on, it was a beautiful prairie town building, a beautiful building that had been built by our city's ancestors. And it was a building that stood here for more than a century. And I recall eating here as a young boy, the, the interior was beautiful and uh, really a gorgeous building, but it had to go. It had to be ripped down because the city fathers and mothers had other plans. What we have here is art, everybody. Yeah, we're in this together. Mayor Norton, how much was spent for this? How much money went to pay for this? And by the way, people, I'm hoping that the globalist message comes up soon. It looks like it's turning back to the globalist message because what I saw before I was able to go live, there were words and uh, words like Democrat, democracy, vote, Democrat, democracy, vote, and it just repeated itself on a loop. And there was a globe showing all the different continents of the earth. So what we really need in Rochester is more fantastic art from Mayor Kim Norton. Thank you. How, I had no idea this lit up when I saw it finished last week. How ironic that we're all in lockdown in Rochester and we've got more art to appreciate. What a, what a great expenditure, huh? Your federal tax dollars helped pay for this. And, and we're going to find out how much this costs sooner or later. By the way, Tim uh, Walls has shut down the state of Minnesota. We can't do anything together, right? We can't go to church together. We can't have Easter. We can't have Christmas, right? We're supposed to cancel Thanksgiving, but the word is together, right? The messaging is together. Together alone, I guess, or alone together, however they want to mix it up. But when you just think about this, the next time you're driving through downtown Rochester, just look at this sign and ask yourself how much it cost. And uh, <laughs> I don't know, folks. I don't know about you, but I've pretty much had enough of our, ta our property taxes going up. I got my property tax increase bill uh, yesterday, my estimate for the coming year. And I was told that my property value has gone up about $40,000 in one calendar year. And I'm a little bit astonished by that. I have no idea how they did that, uh, that estimate, but if somebody's willing to pay me as much as they think my property's worth, I'm ready to move out of Rochester anytime. Maybe they can come up with some grant money to get me out of town. Here we go. Now look closely. Now the, okay, the vocabulary, the positive feeling words, the feeling words are coming. Uh, but I, I hope they go into that internationalist thing, hard work motivation, courage, decisiveness, ability, perseverance, hard work. Work will make you free, yeah? Motivation, 
courage. Don't you feel happy just looking at all these positive words that Mayor Norton takes ownership of? I wish we could get the globalist thing going, but maybe this thing is on some kind of long programming. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys come to downtown Rochester and try to check into it yourselves. Enjoy. Next time you're in Rochester, just remember you helped pay for this with your tax dollars. Thank you, everybody. Good night.